I'm Jared Deanda, host of many different events across the globe and voice of Snap-on. I'm here with Joey Gramatico, product manager for Snap-on. Hey Jared, believe it or not, I've been with Snap-on for about 10 years now. All right, and we are here to talk about the Zeus Plus, and this thing is a plus, why is that? That's right, I'm gonna give you a rundown of the latest product in the Snap-on Diagnostics lineup. Well, why don't you start talking about some key features and benefits. First and foremost, right out of the gate, this massive screen is blaringly obvious. Like you said, first thing you notice there is that large 12 inch display, full HD resolution, 1920 by 1080, and it's an optically bonded screen. Optically bonded, some people are thinking optics, glasses, going, getting their sight checked, I wear contacts, but you don't need them with this. What is optically bonded? Yeah, it's basically just the way the screen is assembled. What it means for the user is it's easily viewable in all different angles. Also, you can read it easily outdoors. Yeah, because this is designed and engineered for technicians in a workspace. That's what we're really trying to stress here. You know, the right tool for the job. This also has speakers. Why are speakers important on a diagnostic tool? Dual speakers in the front of the platform, and that's important in the shop environment, because as you know, it gets loud, mm -hmm. and you want to be able to hear every beat from the scan tool. All right, let's talk about USB and USB-C and A, because as we know, cables and connectors are always changing. So it has primarily USB-C for input, for power and charging. It can also be used for display. All right, and then two USB-A ports. USB-A 3.0 for all your USB needs, yeah. thumb drives, uh, attaching accessories to the products. Has a built-in microphone. Why is that important? In today's day and age, video meetings are more and more important. So with the microphone, you can do a meeting with a customer. You can do actually in a, in a shop environment, your hands may be dirty, you can't access a tool. You can do voice to text. You could type something out on the scan tool. We're so spoiled with our devices and now this thing is just that great evolution. We talk about, again, the right tool for the job. All right, while I power this thing down, I put it into sleep mode, just hold it down for two seconds. I see the LED battery indicator. Right, LED battery indicator right in the front of the screen. What that does, it uh, indicates to the user what mode it's in and uh, where the battery level's at. Does it need to be plugged in? Or is it fully charged? All right, let's flip this thing around back and take a look because first and foremost, so conveniently put right here, we got our scan module. Yes, the compact scan module is conveniently located in the back of the unit. You can easily take it out when you need it, put it back when you don't. All right, another really cool feature. All right, say, you know, go scan a car, maybe leave this in a car. What's gonna happen? Our scan modules emit a loud beep when it's left in the car so the customer doesn't drive away with it. Also around back, I'm seeing a camera with a spotlight. Why is that important? The spotlight is important because it allows you to take pictures in dark environments, not always the best lighting in shop yeah. environments. You can also use that camera to take pictures of the VIN. So if you want to identify a vehicle by the barcode, you can take a picture and identify the vehicle that way. Yeah, also with that light, maybe it's up on the dash, maybe it's a dark place or somewhere kind of under. That's really great. All right, and uh, the battery. We talked about the battery indicator, but also what are some features about this? What's the runtime? What are some of the features? You get about nine hours of life with this battery and can be swappable. So you can pull out the clips, take it out, put it back in. So nine hours, you make sure your Zeus Plus is up and running. Also out back here, I am seeing this stylus. What's cool about this? We have our durable stylus made out of aluminum. You wanna use that on the touch screen. Technicians don't always have the cleanest hands. <laughs> so use that to navigate through the touch screen. Also, a little light. Yeah, a little flashlight in case you need it. You can pull out the stylus real quick and look in those tight spots where it's not easily lit. Taking a look at the stand, very sturdy and it can be in multiple positions. There's three set positions for the stand. So you have it for when you're viewing it on a flat surface, when you have it on the steering wheel of a car and maybe you're running through a diagnosis, then also it can be flipped all the way up, locks in place and can be used as a handle. That's great. And it's got these rubberized feet so you're not gonna cause any damage to a potential vehicle. I think it's time to fire this thing up and take a look at some of the features of Zeus Plus. Now, this thing was asleep and that's a key feature. You can just put it to sleep or do a full power off. So let's role play. You're the technician. I bring in my car. Walk us through the fast track intelligent diagnostics process. So what would you do first? Sure, so you're a customer, you're coming into the shop. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna perform a code scan on your vehicle. All right, and I'm seeing three prompts here, pre-scan, post-scan, and diagnostic health scan. Yeah, so different code scans, depending on where you're at in your diagnostic process. So you just came in the shop for the first time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna perform a pre-scan. So right now it's scanning, it's going through, looking at kind of the brain of the vehicle, see if there's any problems. Seeing some green checks here, but uh, what else are we looking at? Yeah, so you have two codes present. It did a full system code scan. It checked every system on the car for codes. And what we have is we have a code present here. We have a misfire code. Okay, see right there, codes two. What would you do next in the process? So if you notice the, the save icon, a report was saved 
to the Snap-on Cloud pre-scan report. Okay, the cloud, everybody talks about cloud and kind of information being shared, but what is the Snap-on Cloud and how can that be utilized? Everything from your scan tool saves to the Snap-on Cloud. That could be screenshots, that could be code scans like we just saw here, or that could be images you take with the camera on the device. Okay, now walk us through, you're the technician, like I said, you yep. see these two codes, what would you do next? Yeah, so we did a code scan and there's a code present. We're gonna jump into this misfire code. So we're gonna select diagnose, and it takes us right into fast track intelligent diagnostics. And I'm seeing some charts here, I'm seeing all these cards, and you're gonna utilize this as, let's call this kind of the home page for this particular car and for this scan. Also, these charts right here, what's really cool about this, and from what I understand, correct me if I'm wrong, is this has so much information that's shared with other technicians, and it's basically saving you to call a friend and say, hey, what's going on here? Because this is aggregating other experiences or other kind of faults that's gonna happen with this particular vehicle. Right, this is top repairs. When this exact vehicle came to a shop, what was replaced, what was fixed on that vehicle when it came into the shop with this code? That's really cool. So, uh, seeing some graphs here, what would you do next? I'm seeing TSB at the top of the list and uh, walk us through. As a technician, first thing I would check is our technical bulletins. There could be a recall or a technical bulletin from the manufacturer. Maybe I need to ship it back to the manufacturer. So we're gonna jump in and we're gonna check this here. I'm looking at a bunch of different bulletins here and this is all preloaded specific to this vehicle. What do you see? This one looks like an easy check here. Engine misfire may be due to loose spark plug wires. So we'll select that and we'll open it up. The TSB is from the manufacturer, explains the vehicles affected. What's great about this TSB, we got pictures. Images, I mean, this is just, it's so intuitive and all the information right here. What I really like about it is it's chronological. It's kind of prompting you what's going on, but where would you go? You're the technician. Yeah, let's go back to the cards. So as you mentioned, Intelligent Diagnostics lays out the flow. So I'll start here and I'll work my way down. So let's work our way down the smart data. Okay, so I'm seeing kind of a, a, what was that? Heard it go off. That was a beep. Also, there's a red flag on that timeline right there. What that red flag indicates, that one of these values went out of range. Okay, I'm seeing the red flag here. It says, misfire current cylinder two. Let's actually click that flag. What happens is it opens up that graph. So we can see specifically where in time that fault occurred. All right, and I'm seeing a chart here with a fade. What else does that tell us? Yeah, we have gradient graphs with the Zeus Plus. And what that does, it easily allows us to find spikes in data or dips in data. Okay, so we've assessed that. It shows us right here, and that, that's scrolling. It's not a YouTube video. I mean, even though we're making content <laughs> yeah. here, what is that telling us right there as it scrolls across? So the white portion indicates the timeline. So what you can do, all this data that you've captured, the diagnosis of the vehicle, you can go through it easily with your finger, just swipe through it and find a specific point in time that you want. Okay, so one red flag was shown. Where would you go next on this whole process? All right, so we've narrowed it down to cylinder two. We know there's misfires present in cylinder two. Let's go back to our intelligent diagnostic page and going with the flow. Let me we do have that. Functional See? Just test. Super, super easy, right? Yep. We have functional tests and resets procedures as our next step. We'll select that. And what are we looking at here? We're seeing variant learn, compression test, cylinder one injector, and a bunch of different options. Yeah, these are functional tests and resets for that code, either in the diagnosis phase or in the repair phase. We're still diagnosing, so we'll jump into cylinder two injector. We'll hit continue, and now the functional test is displayed. So this is our live data, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna disable the injector while viewing live data, and actually while checking the vehicle, and when we disable that injector, the engine should stumble. If it does, that indicates the injector is okay. That's great, so again, you're really just saving you know a lot of precious time, and this is, isolating that one incident, and that tells you exactly what you need to be told. Where yeah. would you go next? Let's continue with the diagnostic process. Let's back out of there. All right, now guided component test meter. So we know there's an issue with cylinder two. We check the injectors, they're okay. Now we need to take a deep dive with the electrical circuitry. We need to test these components. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming we'll bring in module? Exactly, we're gonna use our scope module for this. We'll go into guided component test meter. We'll go into ignition test. We'll go into primary test. We'll go into key on engine cranking test. And there's our test. That's great. Now what is this telling us or what is this telling you as a technician? It tells me everything I need to do to perform this test. It shows me where to hook up those leads on that scope module. It shows me how to test, what the pinouts are on the sensor, on the modules. And then it even shows me what to look for when I'm performing that test. I mean, this is designed and engineered for technicians in the workplace. And as sturdy as it is, the real value here is just all the information that's being shared and is right literally at your fingertips. I mean, just even on a 
link up the module. I'm sure technicians are out there saying, I don't know, this looks a little difficult, but it's telling you what to do. So there's really nothing that should be scary about this. Correct. Nothing scary about it. Fast Track Intelligent Diagnostics walks you through the process. All right, so what's next after this? We've isolated, we've done the incident. What have you found out? So with Fast Track Intelligent Diagnostics, what we've done is we identified the faulty component or the fix for the repair. What we'll do is we have repair information here on Fast Track Intelligent Diagnostics. This is information direct from the manufacturer on ShopKey Pro. So if you need to replace a component, you can access the information here, or if you need procedures, specific procedures, torque specs, anything you need is here in ShopKey Pro. What's even better, it identified the vehicle for us. We don't have to do all those attributes again. And it took us to the code that we're diagnosing. All right, Joe, you as a technician, you've executed everything, you've isolated, you found the incident, and you've problem solved it. How are you gonna let your customer know that you've completed the service and their vehicle gets a clean bill of health? All right, we're all done with our repair. Now what we're gonna do is perform another full system code scan, and we're gonna select post scan. Now, what is the post scan gonna tell you as well as eventually your customer? It's checking all the systems on the vehicle, making sure that code that was the initial fault isn't coming back, and it sends it automatically to Snap-on Cloud. It's great. Going from the cloud, you can connect via Wi-Fi, send all those photos, the charts, everything, making sure it's good. Is there anything else you wanna show me that the Zeus Plus can do? All right, I wanna show you Service Recess and Relearns. So what Service Recess and Relearns is, gives you all the functionality you need to do to repair a component. It could be during the diagnosis or after the repair. So I'll show you Replace Relearn Oxygen Sensor. Graph looks familiar, like yep. we saw earlier with Intelligent Diagnostics. Gives you all the top repairs that are related to an oxygen sensor. Maybe components that were replaced along with an oxygen sensor. Also, PSBs and recalls, like we said earlier, those are really important. What's great about Service Recess and Relearns is it provides the functional tests that you need to do during or after repair. Here, it shows the oxygen sensor heater learn. A technician may not know that they need to perform a heater learn after they replace a component. And that tech engine light with that code may come back. Joey, so much information and so much knowledge packed within here. Everything you need. It's all about diagnostics, process, and efficiency. This is engineered for the technician in the workplace, the Zeus Plus.